Hi, Jim Wilson, Director of Immersive Products and Virtual Reality at Samsung, and we're here at E3. So talk a little about E3, what you guys are showing, how many games are here for Samsung Gear VR? Sure, we're showing um, five games, uh, including uh, titles such as Omega Agent and Anshar Wars. How are you seeing things evolve when it comes to what game developers are creating for virtual reality for the Samsung Gear VR? Sure. Um, I think since the uh, store opened last fall, um, now that there's paid applications, we're seeing um, a lot of titles that are you know, more fully featured um, as opposed to just demo versions. Um, so we're seeing um, you know, games that have you know, seven to ten hours of gameplay and more. When it comes to VR, how have you seen the actual development kind of kick off since there are a, a number of people that have these devices now? Um, well, I think the, um, I mean the, the, you know, the available pool of developers has, I think, gotten a lot you know, broader now that the, you know, the, uh, the hardware is uh, widely accessible. Um, you know, we recently launched um, Galaxy S6, Galaxy S6 Edge and the uh, updated version of the uh, Gear VR Innovator Edition for the S6 and S6 Edge, um, which um, offers a uh, more premium VR experience, uh, better processor, and also has a higher pixel density than the Galaxy Note 4, 577 uh, PPI. What does that mean for VR gaming? Um, so it means um, you know the 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 screen actually has a a, a better uh, look. So it's a reduced uh, sort of the screen door effect. People were calling it. Um, so it just provides for you know smoother experience and just a you know general overall better premium experience in VR. We've seen over the last year a lot of uh, short film, short subject, uh, linear entertainment. What role do video games play? Do you feel in mobile VR? Um, I think that it just helps to broaden the, you know, um, overall range of entertainment experiences that are available uh, for people that purchase Gear VR, um, which is, you know, extremely important because obviously, you know, we're viewing Gear VR as sort of an all-in-one entertainment device, and so, you know, the fact that we've got, you know, great, you know, video game content, um, you know, short film content. Um, you know, animation, I mean, there's all sorts of, you know, different, so it's, it's a really broad range of content that can appeal to multiple consumers. What are your thoughts about VR from a big picture perspective and how are things like the success of Oculus and all these other devices entering the market helping the Gear VR? Sure. Uh, well, I think that it's, you know, as there's been a lot of, you know, big announcements of late, obviously Oculus just had their, you know, big announcement a few days ago. Um, I, I think that you know, all this activity is really, you know, kind of a proof point of, um, you know, the growth of VR and, you know, how serious, you know, the companies are in their, um, you know, uh, attention to VR and, um, you know, the old saying, rising tide lifts all ships. So um, all this activity just bodes well for VR overall. When it comes to game developers, can you give us a sense of, of how much excitement there is when you go out there or when you interact with them when it comes to them wanting to get involved in the mobile VR space? Yeah, I think that, you know, much the same way that, you know, uh, you know filmmakers are very excited about, you know, VR because it's sort of a new frontier. I think that also applies to, you know, game developers, right? Because, um, you know, they're able to do things in VR um, that they can't necessarily do uh, potentially in you know traditional video games um, and so you know as as creators I mean that's that's what they're excited about right is being able to do you know new and exciting things um, so everybody's everybody's very excited I mean we're just at the you know very beginning of it so exciting times part of the oculus press conference included exclusive games that will only be available on the oculus rift Sony has games coming out just for the Morpheus where does Samsung stand when it comes to exclusive game content only available on the gear VR um, I would say that, you know, our primary focus right now is, hasn't been games. Um, I mean, we're certainly excited about games and that, again, it, you know, certainly broadens the, uh, you know, overall entertainment appeal of Gear VR. Um, you know, so there's, I'd say at, at this time, there's no plans for, you know, exclusive games for VR uh, or for Gear VR, just because we're focused sort of on, you know, our uh, virtual reality content service, Milk VR.
And gaming isn't gaming is through the store, just to clarify, right? Not through Milfi R in any way. Correct. Yeah, games are accessible through uh, Oculus Home.